The new school year has just begun and for some students, uh, for some students, and if your child has been wanting to do something special for her new teacher, well, our next guest has just the thing they need. Please welcome event planner and floral designer and owner of JC Events, Jennifer Kraft. Hello. Welcome back to the show. Well, thank you so much for having me. All right, so how did you come up with this idea to make something for teachers? Yeah, so I wanted to start the school year off strong, right? Ah, okay. Let's create something special for our teachers and make right. them feel appreciated. You know, and I think what we're about to make, yeah. I think we'll make them feel appreciated. We sure will. Okay, to make a good arrangement like this, what's the first thing that you want to do? First, we want to get flowers, right? Okay, right? We can't make a flower arrangement without those. And probably quality flowers. Quality flowers would be wonderful. Now, H-E-B, you know, um, Trader Joe's, Costco, Sam's are all great places. Okay, you're right. They, yeah, they're all yeah. good places. Yes. And so whenever we're doing something like this, I mm -hmm. guess you have to look at the vase, the size of the vase, and how long the stem is going to be. That's correct, yeah. So you can get any vessel, even coffee cups. Find something at your house, too. We have mason jars. If you're giving gifts to a lot of teachers, bud vases are also a great idea. Ah. But you want to hold your flower up to the vase and trim accordingly. Okay. Right? Right. And you can use kitchen shears or anything that you have at the house. Now, if, if somebody's watching, they're like, you know, I like putting arrangements, but mine just don't look great you know what's the first thing that you think about so you want to take your flower because mm -hmm. you know when you get them at the store they have mm -hmm. all these leaves right right so we want to use a glove or something like that to take the leaves off mm -hmm. and then your rose will look clean like this just like that one that was yes. pretty clean yes okay. and then we want to trim it at a 45 degree angle so it looks like you start with like a base like the bigger flowers kind yes. of on the bottom that's correct so we want to start with our most hearty flowers okay. and you want to stick the flowers in at a nice angle to help fill all of the gaps. Ah, okay, so don't start kind of like here. Don't start in the middle. At a, like a yes. 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle and just start putting the flowers in at a nice Now it looks like you're putting these in pretty rapidly. Is that because you're just used to it? I am used <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If you have a lazy Susan at home, that's also really nice yeah. to spin the arrangement around to see if you have any gaps. Uh huh. So it looks like you got like a base, and then you mm -hmm. and then you just kind of put them put them in in any way that you're. What's this? What what are you thinking about whenever you're putting this in? So you know you had to use your design eye, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe cluster some colors off to the side, a nice variation of colors, and the fluffy flowers are nice in the middle okay, to yeah. kind of help fill that and bring it some texture and some dimension. I like that. Could you use artificial flowers? Yes, you can. So I actually created these over here. And to use artificial flowers, that's always great because it lasts longer. It'll mm. last all year round in the teacher's classroom. Now, are these the artificial ones? They sure are. Well, they look like real flowers. Aren't they They're beautiful? Right. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm also thinking about? That this is a great way to spend time with kids. It sure is. Let's get those kids involved. Let's. Uh, hands-on creativity and so we can teach them what it means to be generous yeah I bet they would yeah. love this just right through the whole process you saw me pick this up is this like a perfume bottle so you can reuse perfume bottles these are actually some bud vases I got off of Amazon can you believe it uh, okay so you just did the vase <laughs> yeah probably not too too expensive no so if you're gift giving to lots of teachers this is a nice affordable way to go about that you know what I think any teacher would really love this they yeah. sure would and you can always pair it nicely with a teacher ribbon you know mm -hmm. right some cute little sticky notes or something to go along I love it I love it I love it all right uh, you have a special offer for us. Yes, 10% off if they mention Great Day SA. Okay, 10% off. And how can folks, how can they find out more? Yes, uh, visit my website, eventsbyjennifercraft.com and social media, JCraft Events. Okay, all right. Love it. You know, these flowers are absolutely beautiful. And one thing I did like is I didn't really have to do any work. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> thanks. And again, the flowers, boy, they're nice. All right, up next, it's going to be